Hey what's up you guys, it's Bloody Jacob here to bring you a quick video just showing you guys some things I picked up today. Um, I was out on a day, went to Olive Garden and such, a uh, very good dinner, at least the one we go to. And uh, I also managed to get a few things of my for myself on this uh, date as well. You know, you gotta self-indulge occasionally. And I've been doing a little bit of that lately, if you guys haven't noticed. But uh, yeah, so if you, if you didn't see my Facebook or my Twitter, um, you wouldn't have known this, but if you did, you obviously would have seen the photos I posted. But either way, I kind of want to make a video on this, sort of to bring some focus back on horror on my channel. I picked up the uh, original Jeepers Creepers on DVD in 2001. And, uh, yeah, um, I've seen both of the Jeepers Creepers movies so far, and the first is probably my favorite of the two. Um, the second one had its moments, you know, it's pretty entertaining, but, you know, kind of lost, uh, some of what made this one a pretty solid horror flick, pretty solid horror flick. Um, the first one I think was superior because I just had, like, a better atmosphere and, like, a more intense creepiness going throughout the whole thing. Um, you know, while he's stalking them throughout the movie and that whole, like, police station climax. I thought it was just really well done. And the second one had, like I said, had, had its entertaining fun bits and, you know, I like the expansion of, like, whole wings thing for the creeper. But first one I saw was a superior film, so very happy to pick this up on DVD. If I see the second one at some point, you know, I'll probably just grab it, but I'm glad I at least have this one. I hope, uh, part three does happen. And then I also picked up this uh, unrated two movie collection, or it's basically a double feature of the 2004 remake of Dawn of the Dead, as well as Land of the Dead from 2005. Um, I've seen the 2004 remake of Dawn of the Dead a couple times. I can't say it's one of my favorite um, zombie horror movies, um, but you know it's not one of the worst ones either. So I'm fine with having that one, and uh, Land of the Dead I enjoy quite a bit more, actually. I like the whole Big Daddy angle with the zombie slowly gaining a little bit more intelligence. And uh, John Leguizmo, or however you say his name, is kind of fun in it, too. But yeah, both pretty decent uh, zombie flicks, and ones that aren't bad to have in your, in your collection whatsoever. So I was happy to find this one as well, and it was like only 10 bucks or less for both of them on this. So I can't really pass that up. And then I'm going to probably show us off a little bit more in my Game of Thrones review that I'll, I will hopefully post tomorrow. But this is a Funko uh, Pop Vinyl Cersei Lannister. I don't know if you guys, you guys have probably seen these things, you know, they're pretty adorable. <laughs> um, you can probably wonder, you're probably wondering why I got Cersei. But, you know, I just think he's a, I like her character, you know, Lena Headey plays her really well. And, you know, you gotta appreciate a good antagonist. Even if you're irritated by her, it, it's doing its job. You know, the writers are doing its job. Their job, I mean. And I just really enjoy her manipulativeness, if that's even a word. And, you know, I just think she's just a still a fun character. And, uh, you know, who isn't enjoying seeing her get some uh, taste of her own medicine lately, right? But, yeah, I'll probably show us more in the video tomorrow. Give, like, a little mini-review of it, uh along with my usual weekly review. So yeah, expect that tomorrow. Also expect uh, my re review of Penny Dreadful at some point this week. I'll get around to that as well. I've just been more of like a... I've just had more of like a Game of Thrones mindset this week, you know? But yeah, show this off more tomorrow along with my review. Very happy to have these things. And, uh, oh yeah, it's a very weird angle. <laughs> but yeah, very happy to have these things. And I'll catch you guys next time. And, uh, peace.